Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over all the cool releases coming in the month of November. A lot of heavy hitters. But first and foremost, let me remind you, if you're new here, what I do is I recommend new volume ones or upgraded editions, say a hardcover release or box sets, deluxe editions, omnibus, that sort of thing. I'm not going to recommend a volume 30 of a long running series. This is meant for all the brand new releases that are debuting this month. So we with that out of the way, let's get started. A fan favorite fantasy romance shoujo that ran from 2013 to 2021 for a whopping 129 chapters collected across 20 volumes and now finally brought to us thanks to Viz Media in 2-in-1 Omnibus Editions. This is Colette Decides to Die Volume 1, story and art by Alto Yugimura. When exhausted workaholic apothecary Colette jumps into a well, instead of dying, she finds herself caring for a new patient, Hades, Lord of the Dead. As Colette goes back and forth between her world and the underworld, new patients of every kind arrive daily. Colette meets Hades, a fellow workaholic, while he is ill in bed with a rash and fever. After treating his condition, she learns about the work he does and what drives him, which renews her sense of purpose as an apothecary. When Colette is sent back to her own world, is it the last she will see of Hades? A mystery sci-fi shonen series that started back in 2022, and I have to put a small parenthesis here, I totally forgot to include this in my most anticipated manga of 2024. I am really excited about this one. I'm trying not to be super biased, but this is Thunder 3, releasing from Kodansha, written by Yuki Ikeda. Piontaro is a middle schooler whose little sister, Futaba, simply adores him. One day, he and his buddies, the so-called small three, decide to watch a weird disc their teacher lent them. Little do the boys realize this disc is linked to another universe, and while they aren't looking, Futaba gets sucked in. Can Piontaro and his friends find Futaba? And just what is the other world they've discovered? First published in September of 2023, this action fantasy shonen series is getting quite the speedy release thanks to the folks at Viz Media. Kagura Bachi, Volume 1, Story and Art by Takeru Hokazono. Kunishige Rokuhira is the most famous swordsman in the land. Thanks to his six enchanted blades, the war that had been gripping the nation ended and peaceful days followed. After the war, he retrieved all six blades and hid them in the cellar of his workshop. However, sorcerers raided his home and stole the legendary swords, leaving Kunishige dead in front of his son. Now his son, Chihiro, wields Kunishige's seventh and final enchanted blade on a mission to exact revenge and retrieve the swords his father forged. Written and drawn by Hiroshi Higuchi, this manga was originally released in 1998 and it adapted the famous X-Men animated series into manga format. Now here we have it remastered by Viz Media. Jubilation Lee is a teenager with a secret. She's a mutant, the next level of human evolution, and has fantastic powers. All she wants is a normal life with trips to the mall to get away from her parents. But when the mutant hunting robots known as Sentinels come after her, that normal Normal life is pushed out of her reach. Discover the X-Men, mutant heroes hated and feared by a world they've sworn to protect, alongside Jubilee in this classic manga series. From Kodansha comes a drama romance Jose series which first started publication back in 2022. Story and art by Rie Aruga. This is Sheltering Eves. High schooler Yoru was sent to a group home at the age of 10 after her mother abused her. Tenjaku, a boy the same age, took her under his wing. Now as teenagers, Yoru and Tenjaku only have a year left before they are legally required to leave the home. They must pack a lot of growing up into a short period of time. Time. The foremost decision in Yoru's mind, what to do about the feelings for Tanjaku that she's sheltered in her heart during their years together. Also from Kodansha, we have the box set for the Sailor Moon Naoko Takeuchi collection. 
This first box set contains volumes 1 through 6 featuring story and art by the legendary Naoko Takeuchi and includes an exclusive set of 16 art cards, a premium holographic box adorned with metallic silver ink and sealed by a premium feeling magnetic enclosure. Teenage Usagi is not the best athlete, she's never gotten good grades and well, she's a bit of a crybaby. But when she meets a talking cat, she begins a journey that will teach her she has a well of great strength just beneath the surface and the heart to inspire and stand up for her friends as Sailor Moon. From Yen Press comes an action supernatural seinen series that is still ongoing that first started publication back in 2020, featuring story by Homura Kawamoto and art by Makoto Shizuka is The War of Greedy Witches Volume 1. At the moment of her execution, the holy martyr of France, Jean d'Arc, is transported to a mysterious new world. There she comes face to face with 31 heroic women who have carved their names into the annals of history as witches. Now with the 32 witches assembled, Wapulgersnacht can commence, and the deadly tournament that pits its competitors against each other in the name of their selfish wishes is about to get underway. From Viz Media comes Wanted, Eiichiro Oda, before One Piece. See another version of Luffy in the original short story that launched a legend. The creator of One Piece presents this unique collection of his earliest works, from western to fantasy to ghost hunting. This special volume has it all, including Romance Dawn, the one-shot that would become the international mega-hit One Piece. From Kana Publishing comes Eden of Witches, Volume 1. This is written by Yumeji, and it tells the story of a young witch who is forced from her home by humankind. In a world devastated by humankind and forsaken by plants and animals, only witches have the power to communicate with nature. Pili, a young witch apprentice, has set out on the roads accompanied by the wolf oak. However, she is not accustomed to the world outside and traveling long distances. Her fatigue quickly takes its toll, and she ends up injuring herself by tumbling down a rocky slope. Fortunately, a boy named Bowe finds Pili and takes her home to nurse her back to health. However, the arrival of the unfamiliar young lady arouses suspicion among other villagers, who quickly discern her true nature as a witch, and all captured witches share the fate of execution. Mono Volume 1. This ongoing series first started back in 2017, published by Yen Press. In this story, we follow the photography club and the cinema club. Both are in danger of shutting down. Fret not, for they shall merge and become Cinephoto Club. Now club members Satsuki, An, and Sakurako are asked to be the main characters for manga artist Haruno's latest work that's centered around action cameras. The girls head out to capture the lovely sights of Japan, exploring gadgets around them, and of course, chomp on the local delicacies along the way. Also from Yen Press, we have the release of The Teen Exorcist. This is written by Mitsuru Yuki with art by Shikiji Sorakura. This one's an ongoing adventure supernatural seinen series that tells the story of Masahiro in Japan's Heian period. Masahiro serves as a royal diviner just like his grandfather, the legendary Abe no Seimei. His dream isn't to follow in his father's footsteps though, it's to surpass him. During some intense training with his spirit companion, in Mokun, Masahiro notices an ominous presence targeting the princess. Can he protect the royal capital and escape from his grandfather's shadow? Yes, no, or maybe. Volume 1. This story is written by Michi Ichiho and art by Yukimura. It's a BL drama series that first started publication back in 2021 and is being brought to us by the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment. Kunieda K is the up-and-coming Prince Charming of the evening news, but inside he's anything but princely. He's brash, hot-tempered, and prickly as can be. For years, he's been able to juggle his private and professional personas, but a run-in with animator Ushio Tsutsuki threatens to bring his self-control crashing down. Will Kei's mask slip and expose him for who he is, or is there someone who might love and accept both sides? 
From Square Enix Manga Publishing comes Dragon and Chameleon, Volume 1 by Ryo Ishiyama. This was a Next Manga Award nominee, and it is a shounen manga that started back in 2022. Dario Hanagami is a best-selling manga artist praised as a genius of the craft. Shinobu Miyama is a bitter rookie with a knack for copying other people's art styles. When an accident causes the two to switch bodies, Miyama is more than happy to take Hanagami's place, forcing the veteran to rebuild his career from the ground up. Now the dragon must reclaim his throne from the chameleon who replaced him. From Sumi Eno comes After God, Volume 1. This ongoing action fantasy manga started back in 2021 and it is licensed by Viz Media. Japan has been invaded by gods and they've left nothing but death and destruction in their wake. With entire cities now classified as uninhabitable danger zones, anti-god researcher Sachiyuki Tokinaga is determined to find a way to take down the gods and save humanity. When chance leads him to high schooler Waka Kamikura, the two may just end up changing the fate of the world forever. From Yen Press, we have the release of Dracula's On the Night Shift. This is a seinen comedy slice of life supernatural romance written from 2021 to 2022. 13 chapters collected across three volumes. However, this release will include all three of those volumes in one. Written by Satoshi Wakahara with art by Sukumo Asakusa. Vampires who cannot be exposed to sunlight have been able to integrate into modern society by only going out at night. Yura Toraki is a vampire who works the graveyard shift at a convenience store in Ikebukuro. One day, he happens to save a woman named Iris, who turns out to be a member of an order of vampire exterminators. Before he knows it, Yura is living in the same apartment as his should-be nemesis. From Alien Books comes A Spaced Out Slice of Life. Astrobiologist Prates, published from 2021 to 2023, across 18 chapters collected in two volumes. This, however, will be a one-and-done release from Alien Books. Nagi, who lives in a faraway village close to the sea, is bored out of her mind and drifts in her last summer holiday before ending high school. One fateful day, she has an out-of-body experience and meets Prates, a chill cosmic being from another plane of existence. Can our mundane reality be exciting from another point of view? It's the beginning of the end for Nagi's and her friends' childhoods, and a fantastic end it shall be. Tokyo, I mean, no, wait, Todai Revengers. Sorry about that. This is the Omnibus release from Seven Seeds Entertainment. This series first started publication back in 2021 up until 2023. 69 chapters across six volumes. This is the official parody of Tokyo Revengers, now released under Seven Seas in two and one Omnibus editions, featuring story and art by Shinpei Funatsu in the parody spin off series of Tokyo. Revengers, originally created by Ken Wakui. Why does Michitake Icho feel like a loser? Well, he's a Todai, or a Tokyo University graduate, but he's got nothing to show for it except a part-time job where everyone treats him like dirt. One day, he turns on the TV to discover the crush of his life, Hayase Yuki, is getting married. After a tragic bike accident, Icho suddenly leaps seven years back in time to the beginning of his college days. What could go wrong? First published in 2022, this action drama slice of life seinen series is brought to us by Vertical Slash Kodansha. This is Shimazaki in the Land of Peace, Volume 1, story by Goten Hamada and art by Takeshi Seshimo. After surviving a terrorist incident as a child, Shingo Shimazaki was forced to join the League of Economic Liberation's Revolutionary Army. Now, 30 years later, he's back in Japan and trying to assimilate to a normal life. His Japanese may be awkward and his grasp of ordinary tasks a little weak, but he has all the combat and surveillance training of a Green Beret. There are many kind-hearted souls who want to help him, and a few not-so-kind ones who will do anything to stop him. Previously delayed and hopefully finally coming out, 
This is Happy Land Volume 1 from Ablaze Publishing. This horror mystery seinen series came out in 2019 with 16 chapters collected across two volumes. Welcome to Happy Land, an extreme amusement park. The Komias are a happy family with no apparent problems. The parents love each other and are kind to their two children. The kids are brilliant students and in good health. In short, the ideal family that has everything they need to be happy. At least that's what they believed. Until dad decided to take the little tribe to spend a day at Happy Land Amusement Park. In this park with deadly attractions, the most shameful secrets will emerge. Because in Happy Land, the curtain caller is Mr. Rabbit. And by the time he's all done, everything will end in tragedy. From Square Enix comes Always a Catch, How I Punched My Way Into Marrying a Prince, Volume 1, Story by Mayo Momoyo and Itsuki Mito, with art by Kaki Nagato. Maria, the daughter of a duke, grew up believing she would one day inherit her father's dukedom. Accordingly, she focused her attentions on homing her martial arts prowess, while thoughts of marriage fell by the wayside. But the arrival of a baby brother in her family means she's losing her role as heir. Now that she's decided it's time to marry after all, she's arrived a little late to the game. Are there any eligible bachelors left? Upon going to study abroad in a neighboring country, where she might still stand a chance at getting hitched, she's bewildered when the crown prince there declares before all that his engagement to her is null and void. Wait, what engagement? Apparently he's mistaken her for the wrong girl. But once that's all cleared up and he catches sight of her knocking out a whole pack of bandits, it turns out that his prince may have a thing for ass-kicking young ladies after all. Finally, to close out this video, from Seven Seas Entertainment comes Heroine. Saint? No, I'm an all works maid and proud of it. Volume 1. This is an ongoing fantasy isekai story that first started back in 2021, written by Atakichi with art by Keiko. Melody is reincarnated into an otome game and ends up working as a maid for a poor count's family. She happily does her job to the best of her ability, not realizing that her involvement improves every task she completes. Unbeknownst to her, Melody is actually a saint and the heroine of the game. Will she ever find out the truth and fulfill her destiny. So there it is, folks. A lot of cool and interesting manga coming out in the month of November. Let me know in the comments down below which one are you most excited for. And if I miss something that you're really hyped up for, let me know as well. Thank you all for liking, commenting, and being a part of Manga Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you so very much. That is going to be it for now. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.